Today I'm going to show you how to make a word sort that will look like this. So I'm just going to start at the very beginning, the very first step to show you how I get to the end product. So the first thing I usually do is I make sure to go into the store and I want to go in to images and I usually type in background here. Here's where I'm going to find different backgrounds that have already been made and I can purchase them for a few points. So I'm looking, the key is to look for something that has kind of categories for the sort. So for example, this might catch my eye because I could put my words here and I could make these two areas the categories. So you just kind of look around. I usually have spent between about 25 to 100 points, which is about 25 cents to a dollar on these backgrounds. So once you purchase the background, you get it into your um, cart and you make the purchase. Then I end up going into studio. So once you're in the studio, you are going to make a deck and you're going to make a new deck. Now this is when you have never made a deck before. Later I'll show you a shortcut how you can reuse your old decks to make new decks. So your template card is here. This is where you want to put everything that is going to be the base for all your other cards. Once you make your template card, then you can make all your different cards down here. So let's go ahead and build this temple, template card. So the first thing I do is I go to image and I drag it in here. Now the background that you bought should already be in here. So these are images I've already uploaded here. So this is one that I bought before because I liked it. It was fun for the kids and it had the categories that I wanted. So you just click on it and now you kind of just make it fit to your, to your screen and what you need it to be. So let me go ahead and make sure I grab this. I usually take it up to the corner, get it nice and snug in there and then just pull it to make sure that it fits nice and good. Sometimes if it doesn't want to fit all the ways, I might just get it to the best that I can. So let's see if I can get this one to fit. If not, then I might just end up, yeah, so this guy only wants to get so big. So that's fine. So once I get him placed, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these three areas the areas where I want the students to drop the words. So the way I do that is I grab and drag a text box and I usually make it around the area that I want the students to drop the words to. So I kind of make it a little bit larger than the actual image just to help, you know, if the kids don't get it precisely in there, they, anywhere in this area is going to be a drop box. So what I end up doing is I just got the text. Now I'm just going to choose the font that I want. And I usually make it nice and big for the kids to be able to see. And then I will say the sound is the aw sound. And so I just kind of play around with it until I get it to be right where I need it to be. I might drop it down and notice uh, it's not quite centered. So then I just pull it up a little bit and I can see that's where I want my A to be. And then maybe I will just stretch this down a little bit. So that's how I get it to become a box that I need it to be. So then a quick little trick that I do is I will highlight this and I will duplicate it. And then I will make sure that I can grab it and drag it over here for this guy. And then I just simply add that I need this actually to be AU. And then I'll just do the same thing, duplicate him, grab one of them, and place it where I want it to be. And then he needs to be AW for the aw sounds. So now what you wanna do is you wanna go back to each one, make sure it's highlighted. And now you want to say this is a drop zone. So drop zone is over here, come back over here, drop zone that guy, and then make him a drop zone as well. So remember, all this is being done in my template card, okay? So now all these are templates, so all these are drop zones, so students would be able to drop them in here. Now I'm gonna go back to my text and I'm going to drag another text box here, and I'm just going to write a sample word like ball for right now because that's kind of the size of words that I will be using in this sort. So again, 
I'm just going to get him to be the size that I want him to be. Change this. Now this one I usually do a little bit smaller because it doesn't need to be as big. Maybe 32, maybe 36 will look a little bit nicer. Nice and big for them. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and drag it to where I want it to be. And what I do with this one is the same thing. Once it's all highlighted, to save me time, I just duplicate it and move it to the side. So maybe I might have about five words per page. Duplicate it. Try not to change the size too much. Drag it and do that until you have about as many words as you want. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to do about four words. So now each of these guys are going to now, you want these pieces up here, the words that the students are sorting to be draggable. So I'm going to highlight it, draggable, make it draggable, make it draggable. And let's make this last one. You got it, draggable. All right, I am not going to do anything else on this page because this is my template. So this is gonna be what pops up every time I add a new card. It's just gonna be this exact same thing. So the reason why I did this is I got it set up. So now all I have to do for each slide card, so I will go ahead and just delete one card so you can see me do it as a time. Remember, do not add anything up here once you get your base template because it's gonna affect all your other cards. Do not drag these. This is not your first card. This is your template. I cannot stress that enough. I've gotten into so many problems when I started to try to make this my first card. This is your first card down here. So now that my template is made, I'm going to just come in here and I'm going to say, okay, ball, that one works. I'm going to put that one. You move the piece to where he should go for the correct answer. Now here, I don't want this one to be ball. I might do something like, um, August okay so I might change this one to be August and I'm now gonna put this here now because he is locked I might have to go over here to move it to the side on my um, template card okay so then now that was just a lot longer word this one I might need to say okay now this guy he's going to be fall and I might have him, I'll need him to go over here. And then maybe for a W, I might say straw. Now see how he doesn't fit? I can't correct the size of that. I do have to go up to this one and then stretch this guy out a little bit. And I can see he still didn't, it's not wide enough. There we go. So anytime you make a change up here, you do need to make it um, in your template card if you can't fix it on your first card. So now I'm going to say that he goes to the draw card, the A. And that's pretty much it. So then what you can do is you just come here, you say add a new card. So now you got your template card again and you just do the same thing. So maybe now I want to come up here and say this one is going to be tall and he should get to be dragged. He needs to go here as a right answer. And maybe this one, I'm gonna say, needs to be saw. So he needs to come over here. And then this one I can do again and say, you know what, I want this one to be wall. So I'm gonna have him here. Again, this box is not that large, so I need to kind of go up here into my template card and stretch it out just a little bit to make sure it works. Um, just to go around that, something that could help is maybe make a larger word, like a sample word like straw, just so that way you don't run into that problem and keep running into here that it's not large enough. Um, but nonetheless, you get the idea. So a uh, wall would be over here. Um, and then maybe this one, I'm gonna say crawl. And I will just drag it down there. So you can just keep repeating this process. You just keep adding new cards as you want them. When you're done, um, I highly suggest you just preview it. I've made some mistakes in the past, so just preview it to make sure that all your links work and make sure that they want to go into the right spot. That card looks good. I'm gonna test this one really fast. That card looks good. All right, so then once you're done um, and you've tested it, then you can go into details, name your deck. I'll just name this sample fill in all the information and publish it to um, private publish or to the store. 
Um, be careful here. This means that your cards can be randomized. If you want them in a specific order, just make sure to uncheck that. Um, and so that is how you make a word sort from scratch. And now I'm just gonna show you, once you make the word search from scratch, once you did this kind of hard work for the first one, how you can reuse this template over and over again for other sorts. So let me show you that. So the way that works is, so this sort has been completely done. When I'm trying to make another sort, and I know I've already done the work of making a template and everything, what you can do is go into the studio and then say, okay, here's a word sort I've already done. I already have three categories set up. I know I want to have another word sort that has three categories. I'm going to go and clone, and I'm going to say clone the template card. So now, this is just a shortcut. Once you've already made a deck that's a sort, you can go back and met as many times as you want and then just clone this template card and then just adjust the template card to what you want. So maybe this one you're doing E and you want um, EA and you want EE. -E. So now this is a completely different sort, but notice how fast that was within seconds I'm ready to start making a sort that's why with boom cards the big thing is it can take a lot of upfront work just to get, kind of get those templates going once you get a template going though you just start reusing those templates and you start making them um, and look at this this sort will be made in far less time than my previous sort because I already had the template made so I can just do that sometimes it, the thing gets a little awkward um, and then boom, that, that card is, that deck is already made. So this is how I use them for groups. Um, every once in a while, I might just change it up. If I realize, oh, you know, for one sort, I only need two categories. I just want to do short A and long A. Then I would just go back to my studio, um, back to the store, look for a background with two and just do it that way. Um, so lots of uh, easy ways just you know put in a little work in the beginning and it pays off because it all runs itself later So I hope this helped if you have any comments or questions um, Feel free to leave me a message in the comment and I will be happy to help you happy teaching